Oh shit. Oh shit. Hello? No, 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 no. Hey, 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 stay with me. Hey, open your eyes. Hey, you're fine. Hey, look at me. Look up at me. Open your eyes. Come on. Come on, open your eyes, please. Come on, please, wake up. Hey, hey, come on. What is your problem? Why? I get it, I get it. Things didn't go your way, but why? Why? You ruined me. You both hurt me so much, and that neither of you care. I'm sick of being this damn puppet to you, this source of fucking entertainment. This is where everything ends, including you. Get the fuck over yourself. What is this gonna get anyone? Apart from just more bullshit and destruction, what is taking over my dimension gonna do? What is hurting them going to do? Do you feel any better? You pathetic bitch. I'm the pathetic bitch. All I wanted was love. To actually have something in this fucking world and you just took from me. So it's about time I repaid the damn favor, Celestial. How about I take from you now? You won't be taking any more than you already have. Ah, the Celestial's wonderful little pocket dimension. Oh, how welcome and honor I am to be in here. What is the point? I'm stronger than you. I could control this place if I wanted to. You're safe, I've got you. I'll handle this, okay? For us. Don't worry. Just rest. What's the point, you ask? The point is, I'm sick of your ignorance. You don't want to hear a word I have to say. And in here, I can finally do that. Oh, I'm scared Celestia wants to be your diplomatic now that she's against the ropes. What a fucking shame. I guess I'll start talking now. You were a mistake from the moment I created you. And that's not because you gained control and whatnot or you became stronger than me. It's because I made you a mistake. I made you Because of my mistake. Ayandere, who obsesses over their lover, their love interest, to get into a relationship with them. Things feel amazing because you want to do everything for them. I remember the feeling. The feeling like you could do anything in this world because of how much you love them. Talking to them felt amazing and every day you felt like you couldn't tell them how much you love them because words can't even fathom the power of it. Things go well for a while. And then they left you. They left you behind. And you wanted them back so badly. <laughs> so fucking badly. So what did you do? You used that power, that love you had for them to push forward, to finally see them again. But it was like you were invisible to them. They ignored everything, thinking about other people, and then suddenly the love that they said they had for you felt so fake, now the yours felt so fucking real.
You wanted to be there so badly with them. And all you could do is just watch from afar and do nothing because they don't want you. And you don't even know why. I've experienced it and I know what you've been through because you're me. You're a part of me. We aren't so different. You're just something that I tucked away. Something that hurt me so badly. No, 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 you're not fucking doing this. You can't pretend to know how I fucking feel. You don't know shit about how I feel. You fucking tucked me away and you treated me like a goddamn mistake. Like, the time that you treated me like I was a person. Huh? Why is it now, of all fucking times, you decide to treat me now as a fucking person? Huh? <laughs> You're just a fucking liar. That's what you are. A fucking bitch. You fucking deserved it. Yeah? Fuck you. I think we've done enough hating, don't you think? Enough of this disagreement between the two of us when we are so similar. You've grown to hate me so much because you thought that I had you on strings this entire time. That you became a mistake after you broke free. But it is not the case. I can't say sorry enough for what I've done. I can't. We're both in pain after what happened to us. Because I've been through what you went through. I got attached. I obsessed over them. And I love them so much. Just for them to leave me. I was hurt so badly. I made you because I wanted you to be happy. I wanted to see you happily in love because I wanted it so badly. What did even happen to you? happened to you as well. They left you behind. Just like I was left behind. <laughs> it's pretty pathetic of me, don't you think? For me to make such a story, such a character based on something that I wanted so badly. To try correcting a mistake. Whatever mistake that could have been for why they left me. And it turns out that there was just better people than you. So you get left in the fucking dirt. And you sit there wallowing, not sure of what you can do next. Because you don't know what you did wrong, what you did to deserve it. Lillian, we are one and the same. It was a mistake at first, my mistake. But you became such a beautiful mistake. Something amazing to work on, to see in action. You are the outcome of my work. My hurt, my pain. I manifested you and made you, Lillian. 
I made you because of how hurt I was. And because I wanted... I wanted to be in love. Even if it wasn't directly me, it was a piece of me. The me that obsesses around my lover. The me that would love to do anything for them. The me that can't put how much they love them into words because it's that powerful. The me that just can't stop thinking about them. The me that always wants to be around them. But it didn't happen. Because they didn't want it. Just like the last time. Just like the last time. No, no. I'm not fucking believing a word you say. You don't know how it feels to just be alone. To lose that one time that you felt like you had true love. You don't know how the fuck it feels to just be left behind. To question your damn worth. To question if you're even worth anyone's fucking time. And no one's there to help you. No one. No one's fucking there. No one. You could have been there. But you just hurt me so much. Why do you hate me? Why do you hate me so much? Why do you hate me so much? I don't hate you. Not anymore. I hated myself for a while for everything that happened. I had people come in my life and it was hard. And unconsciously I decided to make you so we could cope and learn how to love properly again and get over it because looking back hurt me so much, Lillian, it really did. I had nights where I would just cry, where I would just look back at the past and think that I was so fucking inadequate for anyone else because I lost the one person that I really felt love for. But Lillian, I don't hate you. I've had this battle with you, with my past, so many times before. I don't want to fight anymore. And instead, I want to accept you. They didn't love us, Lillian. I love you. I love you. I know that might not be enough. But in my eyes, you are beautiful. And you are far from a damn mistake. Please. Just take my hand. I don't want to fight you anymore. I've been fighting this battle between you way before I created you. And now, I want it to end. Yes, real tears were shed today. 
Um, it's been a very emotional day for me. Um, but hey, I decided that I'll channel that emotional stuff and I uh, will put it into my emotional roleplay because this is a bit of a reveal um, but behind Lillian, behind my character. But <laughs> yeah, if you stuck to the end, thank you so much for sticking with the series. The next technically final episode will be out next week. Um, thank you all so much for following it and just being here. Um, I've tried to make it as interactional as possible and just... <sighs> thank you so much. If you liked, then please like, comment, and sub. We're getting so close to five uh, 5,000, which is pretty dope. I am going to go get a tissue. <laughs> Take care, everyone.